For the first time ever, the Princeton Review stripped a college of its rankings. That school, UMKC. Tonight, the head of UMKC says his prestigious block school of management will bounce back. KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney explains. The question started about the block school of management last summer. How two visiting faculty members may have inflated data submitted to a national evaluator. They were not falsifying student grades, but they may have been inflating things like demonstrating how students put their lessons to real life applications. Who had really started a business? How many mentors the program had, or how many business clubs at school? Now, UMKC Chancellor Leo Morton does not think that they were trying to deliberately mislead anybody. Uh, in some cases, believe they had acceptance or clearance to submit it that way. Intent aside, the Block School has now been stripped of its top 25 rankings for the last four years by a leading academic evaluator. The long-term impact on UMKC and the Block Management School itself is hard to tell. It's really just kind of a consequence. I mean, if you don't want bad things to happen to you, then try to be honest and truthful. I mean, that's kind of what universities and businesses are supposed to tell us. We need to assure that when we make statements, when we provide data, that you can have confidence in that. Morton says in the future there will be more scrutiny on the submissions for rankings for the Block School of Management. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. The university still has a number one ranking from the same evaluators for its product innovation management program.